Parks. Well, it has been a, a really huge shift in weather conditions. I mean, we went from 87 for a high yesterday, and then today, temperatures never warmed back out of the 50s once they fell into the 50s this morning. Outside right now, it's still mostly cloudy. That's been really the big problem in terms of holding temperatures down this afternoon. We have seen a lot of mid and high level cloudiness across the area. Uh, temperatures at this hour, sitting at 57 degrees. Winds are still remain on the breezy side out of the north northwest at 14 miles per hour. And when you look at the temperatures across the region, you can see they are cooler. How much cooler versus yesterday? Take a look uh, 25 to 30 degrees colder than 24 hours ago at this time. Uh, looking at conditions right now, it is quiet across the region. We actually started the day off with a few very light showers that developed on the backside of that front after midnight last night. You probably woke up and, and saw maybe at least a few very light puddles out on maybe your back patio. Uh, it really didn't amount to much. Uh, the, the sites that did report measurable precipitation. It was only a few one hundredths, uh, but still it was nice to see and you can see the rain has exited off to the east across parts of Kentucky and Tennessee. Our cold front leading the way ahead of that rain uh, for us locally. It's cool. It's breezy and once these clouds clear out this evening, we're really setting ourselves up for a cold night. Uh, you know, most of the area has not had any frost. It looks like we will find some patchy frost across all of the area tomorrow morning, especially the rooftops and the car tops and those grassy and leafy areas. Uh, it also looks like we're going to find temperatures dipping down to and below freezing, especially across our eastern counties. But I think areas here north of Highway 60, this is going to be a prime spot as this ridge of high pressure at the surface moves across that area ahead of sunrise. It's going to be a prime spot for those typically colder locations to dip a little bit below the freezing mark. So for many places, I think tomorrow we're looking at our first light freeze of this fall season as well, especially north and east. Of Springfield. Now we'll shake off the cold in the morning, but it still will be cool into the afternoon. Skies look bright though. It looks like really a beautiful fall day with sunny conditions. Winds aren't going to be terribly strong. They'll be breezy, but not terribly strong. And temperatures will warm uh, generally into the low to mid 60s for highs. Now by Saturday, Temperatures are going to start rocketing higher. Uh, looks like we will find very gusty southwest winds developing south to southwest winds, winds that will top 30 miles per hour. And, and that combination of strong winds, dry air, dry conditions will lead to a high fire danger yet again, very similar to yesterday. And this will be on Saturday, especially Saturday afternoon. Temperatures are going to feel pretty nice, topping out in the low to mid 70s. We've got a cold front on the map too. That one will move through right around sunrise on Sunday, and that will mean a big change for the back end of the weekend. I'll show you that here in a second. Let's go over the numbers for tonight. It looks like uh, generally low to mid 30s for lows. Again, there will be some spots that will get to or below freezing north and east of Springfield, especially here in Springfield, about 34 for the low high of 64 tomorrow. Tomorrow night, not as cold, it's still chilly. So if you're going to a Friday night football game, you're going to want a jacket, maybe even a coat uh, as temperatures will dip into the uh, low to mid 40s. And then for Saturday, it uh, looks like a, a nice recovery in temperatures with highs in the low to mid 70s, about 73 here in Springfield. Sunday, this is the big change to the forecast. Uh, what I've done is I've, it looks like now that front will move through right around sunrise on Sunday. It looks like we will see some showers on Sunday, but it also looks like we may see falling temperatures, maybe a early morning high of about 56 and then falling back into the 40s as chillier air builds in. And then for Monday, showers will still be a possibility, maybe a chance for showers on Tuesday. And we'll see a warming trend through, through uh, Thursday before more rain possibly moves through late next week. All right, so the rain we could use and yes. hey, buckle in for those cooler temperatures. Yes. All right, Jamie, thank you.